What's up, boys, gals, non-binary pals? I'm back! Well, sort of. <laughs> um, hi! Hello from the other end of my surgery. It's so good to see you. I've been so lonely. It's very, very nice to be back. Um, I'm posting a state of the show to let you know that I'm still alive. I'm recovering well. Um, things are going pretty smoothly, as much as you can expect after, uh, you know, having a really invasive surgery like the one I had. And I'm progressing. You know, that's that's kind of all we can ask for, right? Um, so, if you would like to know more details about my surgery, listen in. If you don't, <laughs> you can skip this and go to the timestamp below. Because I really wanted to let you guys know, uh, like, what I had and what was going on. So, if you remember, um, back in, I don't remember when, I posted, I posted a video saying that I got a new diagnosis, and I did. It was endometriosis. Endometriosis sucks. I already talked about that. So um, the surgery I had was to remove the endometriosis from my body, um, which generally only has to happen once. Endometriosis forms at birth and it does not come back once you get rid of it. So um, hypothetically, I might be like cured. I don't want to say that word because endometriosis is a chronic disease and, you know, things can still happen way down the line. But Essentially what happened was, uh, my amazing doctor went in with little, little laparoscopic instruments, they're like little robot arms, and, um, he went in and essentially, like, let me back up. Endometriosis is a uterine cell lining, so it attaches itself to the to the outside essentially of your organs um and it like it does crazy stuff like it glues them together it pulls them apart it makes everything hurt it causes a lot of symptoms like food intolerance bowel issues you know everything you can think of pretty much wherever it attaches something's gonna go wrong so what my doctor did is he went and essentially just like shaved off the the top layer of my organs wherever he saw endometriosis it, it's more delicate than i'm describing but um yeah, <laughs> so that happened. So essentially what's going on now is all of my organs have been cleaned of the endometriosis of the uterine cells that were damaging everything. Um, and so they're recovering my entire, my insides from, you know, all the way down by my parts and all the way up to my heart. Um, have been poked and prodded and messed with. Um, so they're all getting used to their new state, <laughs> their new life, new organs, new me. Um, and things, things are going pretty well, all things considered. I was in a lot of pain for the first couple of days, not because of actually like the organs healing or, or any of the invasive stuff that they did, but when they, when you do laparoscopic surgery, they kind of like, <laughs> this is really gross, I'm sorry, they like inflate your abdominal cavity with gas, CO2, and they get as much of it out as they can at the end, but there's always, there's, there's like a residual gas left around, and when it is moving and trying to escape your body in whatever way possible, um, it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> so for the first couple of days, I was experiencing what's called referred pain from this CO2 trying to escape my body. We dealt with it. <laughs> Everything's fine. I haven't been feeling it lately. Um, I'm, I'm starting to develop other post-surgical symptoms that I'm not going to go into because I don't want to, but they will they'll either go away on their own or there's one that I need physical therapy for. But hey man, I'll take some physical therapy over the pain of the endometriosis that I was experiencing. So <laughs> welcome back to those who I sent to the timestamp. Um, I'm doing well. All things are good. I'm healing. Um, I do not, I do not, I do not have a lot of energy at the moment. Like I get little bursts here and there, and I use them to, like, clean my room, or make some lunch, or whatever. But they don't last very long, and um, that's why I haven't posted any new videos yet. It's been 
two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks since my surgery. Um, so the two week mark is like when they said I might be able to start driving again and things like that. So I have been like very housebound and very alone and <laughs> nothing was enjoyable. Um, so this, this marks the point where I can probably start getting back to some of my normal activities and I'm hoping that one of those activities is going to be getting a new series up. Now, I tried before my surgery, like a couple of days before my surgery, to record some episodes of What Remains of Edith Finch, uh, and the capture software was just not having it, and I like lost the entire capture, which was very frustrating, especially because it turns out that what Remains of Edith Finch, the part that I got to, uh, if you know the game Molly's, Molly's like dream or whatever, uh, was very scary in a way that I do not appreciate. Um, it involved eating things, like live things, and uh, I, can't, I can't play it again. I, I will not. Like, there are some games, I'm, I'm cool with horror games, for the most part, but there are certain horror, what do you, what do you want to call it, tropes, I guess? Certain brands, whatever, of horror that I cannot do. It, it makes me feel all, all kinds of weird, and it doesn't, it doesn't make me feel good. So, I'm, gonna play a different game. <laughs> one with, one that's very light and humorous and hopefully doesn't have any weird horror elements that I have to deal with in it. Um, I have the game picked out. I'm keeping it a surprise. So the only, the only tricky thing is because I'm recovering from surgery, I do not, I cannot, I can't predict like how my energy levels are going to be. And <laughs> I'm going to Germany on April 1st for two weeks, which is very exciting for me, but there's a lot of prep work I have to do ahead of time, and um, initially, before I had the surgery moved up, I had this whole plan. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna record like five episodes and just like edit them and cue them and post them and it'll be fine. But then the surgery got bumped up and like everything went <clears throat> So I have a week now to get my life in order before I travel, which includes, you know, packing and cleaning and laundry and, you know, normal stuff that people do before trips, but that's very difficult for me right now because I have all of these post-surgery restrictions on me. Like, I can't lift heavy things. I can't even pick up my cat. He's very fat, admittedly, but, like, I can't lift him. So, I do not know if my surgical hiatus is going to end before I go to Germany or after. Plus, I got a new job, which is very exciting. Um, but that's going to be a big life change too, and I'll have to adjust to that. Uh, so, <laughs> things are a little bit up in the air right now, but I wanted to at least get this video posted to let you know that I'm doing okay, I'm doing well, I just have to figure out where my limits are as far as recording goes while also making sure that I'm saving energy for the things in my life that absolutely have to happen. So keep your fingers crossed that I can post something before I leave. And if I can't, I will see you back here mid-April. And if you're interested in following me around on my Germany trip, I will try my best to post pictures to my Instagram. I'm very bad at Instagramming. <laughs> I forget it exists like constantly, but I'll try. Um, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Maeve Actually, just the same as it is everywhere else. And I'll see you soon, one way or the other. Uh, keep on fighting for any endometriosis warriors watching this. I don't know if any of you are, but you can do it. I did it. So can you. And fuck yeah. Woman power. Woo! So I hope that you're happy to see me back. I'm happy to see you out in the internet, ionosphere or whatever. And we'll talk soon. In the meantime, my name is Maeve Actually, and I hope that you have a very good day. Bye!